All right, welcome back to another Mortal Realms uh, experimental review on this stuff coming out for the Seven Days of Nurgle. Um, Paul is joining me um, to review. Hey, Paul. Hey, how's it going? Um, doing well. Excited for, as everybody else is, for all of this Seven Days of Nurgle and all these crazy things coming out. Um, so, first of all, you know... Uh, if you're enjoying what we're putting out uh, or any of the other stuff that we have put out, take a look around the channel. Um, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. All the things that you do on a YouTuber video channel thing. And uh, we're just going to get jumping straight into uh, what we're talking about. So um, day three of the seven days of Nurgle. Uh, and the video playing in the background was dropped by a Games Workshop. Really cool new style with these kind of sketchy drawings, which I appreciate very much. Um, and we've got the, the the brothers three of Glotkin arguing at the start, and then uh, kind of uh, cueing us into this some of the story uh, upcoming where uh, where death is their real concern, not not Sigmar, but Nagash. Um, did you enjoy the video, Paul? I did indeed, for sure. Uh... I thought it was a little interesting to have the uh, Glockin be the focal uh, characters of this book. That was an interesting choice. I liked it a lot. Yeah, especially with so many new characters uh, popping in. Mm -hmm. But I guess they're the ones that are most familiar with us at this time. Um, so I'm going to pop up some things. Uh, we're going to be we're talking about uh, the, what dropped uh, today uh, was the Battle Tome uh, Maggot Kin of Nurgle. Um, and uh, just some pretty amazing uh, artwork. Um, uh, and take a look at this this big guy uh, with his uh, fly shield and his hammer. And and Paul, you've got a speculation on this guy. Yeah, I uh, I have a heard a rumor that he is going to be a special character. He's got some special cool rules as well that go with him as well. Nice. So um, so I'm interested to see how that works out. Yeah. So he's a little bit different than the. You know, that champion of Nurgle and a little bit different than Gut Rot Spoon. Uh, that fly shield's pretty fly um, and all that good stuff. For a white guy. <laughs> so we've got uh, the Maggot Kin of Nurgle book cover and that new Warhammer Age of Sigmar logo, uh, shiny and bright up at the top. Um, Very pretty. Yeah, just a good looking good looking photo on the front. Um, you know, it's, I don't know, it's always been kind of the case, but... Um, you know, yeah, I, I really enjoy the, the art style of the, of the battle tomes for sure. Um, yep. but this is the first one with that new logo, um, really shining bright. Um, yeah, we, go ahead. We got some Zinch, we got some corn, now we got some Nurgle, now we're just missing Slanesh. Everyone's missing Slanesh. Everyone's missing Slanesh. <laughs> so, um, the, in the preview on the Warhammer community page, they gave us some, uh, interesting rules uh, to play with and just some sneak peeks. Uh, for instance, there's one that gives uh, it, uh, it gives the uh, you pick a unit within three inches of, of this model and uh, it can allows that unit to throw heads as a shooting attack. Um, there's, <laughs> uh, and then there's uh, my favorite, which is the eye of Nurgle where uh, uh, he's wearing a necklace and it's an artifact and it, it's any time, Nurgle could be looking through this necklace to see what's going on in the battle, uh, and if it happens to, he happens to lay his eyes on on another hero or another model uh, within twelve inches, uh, he could totally kill that model outright. Um, Lane. Yeah, so you have to roll two d six, and if if you get exactly a seven, uh, that model is just done. So Archeon, uh, Alarial, um, Celestine Prime, whatever it is, just done. Uh, I think I, I, if I were playing Nurgle, I'd probably bring that every single time. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have to put it, I think, on a Manticore Lord or something like that. Something like that. Then the Manticore uh, Lord so, would yeah, be... exactly. <laughs> that would be, be a pretty fun choice. Any of these uh, uh, hit your fancy? Uh, I, I like the, the rules that they kind of put out. The one thing that I am particularly interested in is... There is nothing about Herdstone. There is nothing about Pestigors. There is nothing about Beastmen. Yeah. And I'm wondering uh, what's going to go on with that because I still got like, you know, 30, 40 of the old metal Pestigors. Wondering what's going to happen. Especially yeah. Especially that new Blight Tree. That's a perfect Nurgle Herd Herdstone. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, interest interesting you, you say that. Uh, one last thing they do show the kind of the stat. 
block for the great unclean one. 16 wounds, uh, four up save, 10 bravery, but only a five inch move such a, for such a giant model. I, I, I feel like he, he would go faster if he just rolled. Did, did a, <laughs> yeah, did over over. a somersault or something. Um, <laughs> uh, so then, uh, speaking of the, of the tree, we got a kind of extended photo uh, from uh, what they shared with us yesterday of the great unclean one, that, that kind of the main one with the two horns and the big sword, and then the um, special named character from the 40K universe, um, which is interesting though, because it's showing him in a Age of Sigmar photo. Um, I wasn't mm -hmm. sure if he would have a place, but maybe that um, Rod Egg or whatever it's called, his name is, would might be in the Age of Sigmar as well. Um, and then off to the right is that uh, Blight Tree, uh, and it looks like it stands a little about half the size of um, oh, what is that uh, that ruin? Not the, not the oculum, the one with the hydra on the front. Oh, not the Nibinus oculum. Uh, the, the ruins of Elixia. No, I'm thinking of the big box set. Yeah. I, I can't remember right now. Well, uh, and actually... Uh, so it's half the size. That's a pretty, that's not too tall, actually. Uh, I'm, it's about half the size of those ruins. Yeah, so it's about, it's, it kind of fits in the doorway or whatever. Uh, apologies that you're... Your camera's kind of covering it at the moment, but uh, I just moved you for a second so people could see it. <laughs> um, but uh, if you go to the community page, you'll see that. Um, and then they had a had a cool picture of some Blight Kings. It, um, again, you know, I was looking through this photo to try and find that fly guy, the fly shield guy. Didn't quite see him, but you know, maybe he's hiding in plain sight, and I'm just uh, can't can't pick him out myself. But uh, um, Blight Kings seem to be are going to you know they've always, they've I've fought against them recently they're pretty good uh, it seems like they're going to be uh, uh, kind of get get even more love in this book yeah I did hear that they were going to get a points reduction so that'd be nice nice all right so uh, that's the the Maggot Kin of Nurgle that battle tome's coming out I thought it was going to be so yesterday when I put out a video there's five days left that was day mm -hmm. two there's five days left. I thought that the Maggot Kin book was going to be one of the five days. Yep. Uh, they dropped that today along with the what we'll be talking about next. So that means that there's a whole day that I don't have accounted for in the releases. Uh, so there could be a, uh, yet another surprise, which you know Games Workshop likes to do. But the other re release today was uh, Heralds of Nurgle. And we get a, a nice new wallpaper. Nice is a, a loose term. Uh, these guys are ugly and up in your face with nurglings and plague bearers and uh, some, I don't know if those are, um, uh, what are they called, spawn? Maybe Nurgle Chaos Spawn or something um, with kind of horns and claws coming out of their back. Um, some cool stuff in the background. And that video too, if you go watch that, that video that was, was playing in the background, there's some really cool kind of terrain ideas in there. Um, of kind of like just mounds, like termite mounds almost, uh, that the, that they'd be coming out of and, and whatnot. Obviously lots yep. of smoke, lots of flies. Um, but we're talking about the Herald of Nurgle. And first I'm going to show you what, uh, the old model, uh, looked like. And we've got, you know, what looks to be, he's kind of like a larger plague bearer, right? Uh, yep. he's got a, he's got kind of uh, horns coming out of his back. A nurgle hanging on, a nurgling hanging on top. A bell. Um, he's pointing off in the distance while his arm is ripping to shreds, and he's got a big gnarly kind of sword. Um, yeah, I love that sword a lot. It's a really nice sword, and I like how his arm is kind of falling apart. So you can see it in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty sweet sculpt, to be honest. Uh, it's a little hard to convert, but it is a nice model. Yeah. So it's so this is this is what we've had. Uh, now I couldn't find it on the Games Workshop website today. Um, when I was looking for pictures of it, the Herald. Yeah, uh, it's probably because it's in the battalion that's starting, getting started. Uh, it's so, in there, but I don't know if it's available outside of that right now. Okay, uh, so if it's if it's in the getting started getting started box, then that's where you'd find it. Um, so, but they showed showed us with us too. So here's one of them, uh, and this first one is the Spoilpox Scrivener. Um, <laughs> what did you think of this guy? Uh, 
I love the fact that his mouth wraps around his face, <laughs> around his back, and comes out on over his shoulder. It's a, a pretty nice addition. It kind of reminds me a lot of the sculpture they've done of the Plague Drone. Okay. Where they have the long Krabat guy, but yep. they're making it into basically just this huge mouth. It's, I liked it a lot. I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah. So, yeah, and I at first I thought it was just a big slug on his shoulder. Um, and, and I, cause you, you don't see a back, uh, image of it cause they're doing a lot of these like little things, cre creepy crawlies, uh, you know, kind of crawling all over people. Um, and, uh, so that's at first I thought, but I think it's a great, a great addition because this guy's job is to kind of whip the plague bears in shape, make sure that each one is getting their, you know, their due, their tally of, of kills yeah. or, or whatever they're supposed to be doing. Uh, and, uh, you know, what's special about the pennies holding, uh, Paul, you, you recognize the pen? Um, it looks like a peacock feather to me. Yeah, it is one of the, the rumor mills. Um, ah, uh, yes, okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it looks like a peacock feather that's been abused a little bit. Uh, and then what's, what we're seeing a lot in this, re this release, down on the bottom of the base, uh, there's a little nurgling just shoving paper in his mouth, eating the bottom of the, <laughs> the scroll that he's rolled out. Um. I kind of love that bit. Like, basically, you've got this scrivener who's trying desperately to do his job, and then you've got this scrivener that's literally just, like, eating the results. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> he's keeping a running tally. Uh, <laughs> uh, you might have to be, take a running tally just to get away from the nurgling. Uh, exactly. <laughs> um, all right, so, uh, so this guy's cool. This guy represents the serious side of nurgle, of the, you know, getting down to business, um, doing what needs to be done, et cetera. Um, spoil, yeah. spoil pox scriveners. Uh, and that's, it's not a special character. That's the name of kind of the position when they talk, they talk in the article, it's like they used to have, <laughs> they have a funny line. It says in the beginning, there was one type of Harold and his name was Harold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now there's many types of Harold's to work in the army to get them, you know, turn, um, plague bearers into just better units. And I'm sure, I don't know if they work only with plague bearers, um, or with some other demons, but, uh, it certainly what it says makes them more more versatile. Um, yep. So the, one of the interesting things yeah. about this is that uh, the way that the, the character is described as Harold, mm -hmm. uh, the scrivener seems to replace the tally man, which is Epidemius. Huh. Uh, because he was the tally man, he kept the tally, but now we have an actual plastic Harold. Sure. Whereas Epidemius at this point is fine cast. Uh, so uh, it seems to be the the end of that character, at least for a narrative to me, unless something is going to be different with his character. Well, some people said that too about Horticulus, right? Because he's riding on a snail yep. and stuff that maybe he's a replacement of that model. Does he have any tally rules, do you remember? Not off the top of my head. Okay. Uh, he was actually the gardener. So okay. he would be planting the seeds about. So he actually... Right. He was the first some, plague bearer. Yeah. Yeah, he's the first plague bearer and he actually had some nice rules that affected the plague beast of Nurgle. Okay. That's right, that's right. The, the plague bearers themselves. Yep. Uh, which the, the, the Beast of Nurgle will be something we'll likely see in, in the next few days, uh, uh, which will be cool to see. But uh, maybe there's a tally hierarchy now. Maybe there's so much to tally that this guy yeah. just, it works underneath Festus or something. Um, we'll see. Um, but uh, just a real cool model. Uh, serious, down to business. I love that scroll. Um, it looks like even the text is indented. Like that's I don't know. space for wash cool. to fall into. Um, yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. That would fit in with the uh, Stormcast releases where they have that indented as well. Yep. Right? That'd yes. be, uh, that seems to be something they're kind of doing going forward. Yep. Uh, all right. So then the other Herald is Sloppity Bile Piper. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a fantastic name. Oh, it is. And this is a... a killer model too uh he's he's uh i mean he looks like he'd be at home down in new orleans uh during fat tuesday um or the during uh a mardi gras um just dancing <laughs> blowing on his uh, stomach pipes with hollowed up bones and all this kind of stuff um and then the little nurgling there belting out his song as well uh, what song yeah. do you think he's playing well uh I had made a parody of the song "The Hills Are Alive," <laughs> um, so the boils are alive. Oh man! Sound of mucus. Oh so we'll man! That, that plays out. I, 
I, I do I do say I have seen some negative reaction to this model just by the fact that they're putting a Scottish or Irish miniature into this range, right? Because he's playing a bagpipe. Yeah. So just so, just people you know, people are like, hey, why are you bagging on the pipes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess the, I guess you could say that. All right. I mean, they're like, okay, I'm okay with spreading disease and everything, but like, come on, put a Welshman in there. <laughs> Let's see. That's funny. Uh, yeah. The yeah. So great model. Uh, this guy uh, embodies the the joy of Nurgle, um, mm -hmm. and uh, it says that his staff is the formal former herald, um, the former spoilpox scrivener, uh, and th these particular plague bearers, um, these heralds, have a disease which causes them to laugh themselves to death. Um, yeah. Which is kind of so. This guy is just pure, unadulterated uh, silliness, joy, and he's gonna die because of it. Um, so uh, you know, if unless the you know, uh, unless the stormcast get him, I guess, or he in, the, be, in this uh, case, the skeletons. He must be passing, must be passing laughing gas. <laughs> <laughs> nice, uh, nice. I was waiting. I was waiting this whole time. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, yeah, so this is the the other guy kind of uh, shared today. Um, of these two, Paul, which is your favorite? Oh, the Sloppity Piper for sure. Yeah. It's a great name. It's a great model. It, it's a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I mean, the the joy uh, that that is in this guy, and I think, I mean, that's there's two sides. It shows kind of the two sides of Nurgle between these two, uh, and I I've always enjoyed that, that Nurgle's the lighthearted. Uh, you know, uh, kind of goofball. Um, mm -hmm. whereas, you know, not, not the schemer, not the trickster, not the, the prank player, uh, but just, just joyous, like, you know, uh, yeah. So I, I, I would agree. All right. So, um, we've got our day three of the seven days of Nurgle down. Uh, can't wait to see what's going on tomorrow. Uh, what do you think that we've got, uh, uh, beasts of Nurgle. We've got, uh, uh, Blight Kings on drones. We got uh, the the Blight Tree. Uh, any anything else that? Uh, and you're thinking maybe there's going to be a hero with that shield. Could be the the fourth one. Um, anything else that uh, that we're missing or things that we might be looking for? Um, out of what they revealed, I don't think so. I think that uh, hero might be day seven, a okay. hero that we haven't seen yet. That'd be a pretty cool reveal. Um, I would maybe go for the Plague Beast tomorrow. They seem to have a decent amount of scope. Uh, they look really cool, and they've shown a couple of close-up shots of them. I think it would be really nice to see some extra detail about them. Yeah. All right. So let's hope we get beasts tomorrow. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're going to put this out. Uh, join us tomorrow. We'll, you know, myself, maybe Paul, maybe, maybe Aaron, maybe, uh, you know, we'll see who's... Uh, who's around to, to look at these, talk, with the, talk about them. Uh, please join us uh, for this. Again, like and subscribe, and we will share more with you as it comes. Peace out. Peace out.